I just want to talk to you guys about praying in tongues, about speaking in tongues um, for a few minutes. I know it's a topic that kind of confuses a lot of us in the church and, and we're wondering about this and wondering about that. So hopefully what I come and bring to you guys tonight um, will kind of clear some things out for you and just bring things to a perspective um, that's clear and that's biblical. Okay, because I know a lot of times we hear stuff about tongues and it's revelation, but it doesn't line up with scripture. Um, so, you know, we don't really know if that's revelation or if it's just added to scripture. Um, <laughs> so let me just bring some scripture to you guys and let's really talk about this thing. Okay, because praying in tongues, speak, speaking in tongues is good. It's edifying and it's needed um, for Christians in the Christian walk and a Christian life in the church and ministry. All right. So this first scripture I got for you guys is Mark 16, 17. Um, I know you guys see it right there, so let's read it together. It says, And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. In this scripture, Jesus is talking to his disciples about the signs that follow a believer. So the sign of speaking in tongues is for the believer, not a special somebody, a believer. All right. 1 Corinthians 14.2 says, For he who speaks in a tongue does not speak to man, but to God. So this is the main thing I want you guys to get today. Speaking in tongues or praying in tongues is you speaking to God. You talking to your father. That's the main concept of praying in tongues. You talking to God. It's communion. It's conversation. It's so good. It is not you speaking to demons. It's you speaking to God. It's not you speaking to the devil. Unless the devil is your God. <laughs> All right. So let's get that clear. It's intimate words from you to God. And a lot of times, you know, when I pray in tongues, I cry, you know, because it's that intimate. It's, it's basically your spirit man, the new man talking directly to God. And it's just communion and fellowship. And it's, it's intimate. And like, like I said, a lot of times I cry while I do that just because it's just so it's powerful. It's so, so powerful. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 14, 14. It says, for if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays. That's what I was saying. Praying in tongues is you speaking to God, but it's your spirit, the new man that's praying, okay? My spirit, which is one with Holy Spirit, prays. That's why it's so intimate. It is strictly the new man praying. It's communion with God. It's so close. It's awesome. That's praying in tongues, speaking to God. Um, let's go to 1 Corinthians 14, 18. And it says, I thank my God I speak with tongues more than you all. This is Paul writing. He said he speaks with tongues a lot, basically. If Paul had to speak in tongues, if Paul spoke in tongues, I think... And I suggest that we all speak in tongues too and pray in tongues and talk to our God that way from the spirit man directly to him. All right. First Corinthians 14, 13 says, therefore, let him who speaks in a tongue pray that he may interpret. So now we're getting to another face of tongues where it's not just you speaking to God. But now Paul is suggesting that we pray and ask God to, to help us to interpret that tongue. First Corinthians 14, 5 says, he who prophesies is greater than he who speaks with tongues, unless he interprets, that the church may receive edification. All right, so if you've read the scripture about prophecy, prophecy is edification. And right here it's saying that, look, man, prophesying is actually better than tongues because when you prophesy, you edify somebody, right? And then it's saying, unless you're interpreting. So, Tongues by itself, it's you talking to God. But when tongues is interpreted, now you're prophesying. So it turns into prophecy when it's interpreted, okay? 1 Corinthians 14, 27 says, If anyone speaks any tongue, let someone interpret. So praying in tongues on your own is you talking to God. Tongues in a service among Christians is not you talking to God. It's God talking through you to the people. So it becomes prophecy. When we pray in tongues on our own, we're talking to God. The spirit man is praying to the father. When we're praying in tongues amongst other believers, because God always wants to build us up. Now it turns into 
a need to interpret so that it can be prophesied and we're edifying the people. So it goes from praying to God and us talking to God to us letting God talk through us to the church. That's why interpretation must come after the tongue in a service because it's not prayer, it's prophecy. So let's break it down and, and let's do a recap so you guys remember this, okay? Tongue by yourself is you talking to God. The uh, tongue with the church is God talking through you. Tongue by yourself is prayer. Tongue with the church and interpretation is prophecy. It's a uh, ministry, okay? So the first one builds you up. The second one builds others up and the church up. The first one, we pray and we commune with God. And the second one, we ministry and we deliver a message from God to the people. So I want to encourage you guys, don't run away from, from tongues. I believe it's the, the last verse of chapter 14 of 1 Corinthians. It says, you know, desire, desire the gifts and desire to prophesy and don't forbid to speak with tongues. Speaking in tongues is vital. It's you talking to God. You're edifying yourself. You're spending time with God. You're communing with him. And then when you're amongst believers, you pray in tongues, but you interpret and you're prophesying. You're prophesying. How many of you know that Paul said above all the other gifts, man, especially desire to prophesy because that's God talking through you. And when God talks, it's unbelievable ministry. So I encourage you to talk to your God from the spirit, man, praying tongues in private. And when you're in public and you, ha you have the mic or you have, uh, you have time to speak. Or you have time to pray, pray or interpret and prophesy amongst each other so we can build each other up. Amen. Let's pray in tongues, let's interpret, let's prophesy, let's build ourselves up and build each other up. Amen. I'll see you guys next time. Bless you.